is Kilanda. I am coming to you with my 28 and 29 week vlog. <laughs> Reese is jumping up and down because he thinks I'm being silly and he wants me to give him attention. I am currently in my baby's room, y'all. The camera is not necessarily showing the wall um, color. But it's just a light gray um, that I wanted. So, this is as, as close to a sneak peek as you're going to get before the nursery is ready, okay? But I just decided to film it here since it's all clean and nice and nothing else really is. <laughs> it looked like a tornado hit, y'all. I'm not lying. But anyway... I'm going to tell y'all about my symptoms. I'm going to tell y'all about my appointment today. And I guess I'll tell y'all some stuff about the baby and what she's supposed to be doing in there. So, we'll jump right in and get started. Okay. Week 28 and week 29. Um, I kind of mentioned this in my previous vlog because I was already 28 weeks when I finally got it done. But, um, I'm definitely feeling pregnant. I am definitely looking very pregnant. And apparently I look really, really pregnant without my scrubs. Because, um, my supervisor told me to please stop squeezing in my scrubs and go ahead and wear t-shirts with my scrub pants. So, I did that for the first time yesterday. And some people who had never mentioned anything, I guess never looked neck down at me, were like, oh my goodness, when did this happen? When are you due? Is it a boy or a girl? And I'm like, child, where y'all been? Them scrubs ain't hiding it that good. But I don't know. Um, That is just what happened. And it was a white t-shirt, so I guess it really... Showed off my belly, a white maternity shirt. So I guess it really showed off my belly because everybody was just like baby crazy yesterday. But I'm definitely feeling pregnant and looking pregnant. Um, some of the symptoms that have continued have been the carpal tunnel issues and the numbing, numbing and tingling in my hands and my wrists, I mean, they're just painful. They're painful to the touch. If I squeeze here, it hurts. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I have to like, you know, roll them a little bit. Get them warmed up for the day because they are like extremely tight and tense and painful um, in the mornings. Another thing that's continued for me is just... I wouldn't say back pain, but it kind of is pain and it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> Excuse me. And there's another one. Gas, y'all. The burping, the belching, however you want to say it, it's just not cute. And it just happens like I could just be talking and then just a burp. So um, that's been happening to me a lot more. Um, I have been getting a little more heartburn. Not a lot, not anything that, um, you know, feels significant. Huh, huh, excuse me. Um, I am having to just, you know, relax a little bit more and not do as much. I just, I'm just getting tired. <laughs> I'm just ready to see my baby. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So, that's one of those things. I have continued to have, you know, skin issues. Um, that's just what it's going to be. Um, so we're just rolling with that. We're just going to count that to be all the way through to the end. As far as the acne, um, my hair, thank the Lord that my mama touched it for me so that it could just lay down on my head. It's just been sitting off my head like it's getting thicker. It's not longer or anything like that. It's just thicker and it's just was aggravating. Um, <clears throat> I have started picking up a few little cravings. I've been wanting watermelon and um, 
fresh cherries is something that I've been really, really wanting for the past few weeks. And they are nowhere right now, um, which is really, really breaking my heart. <gasps> but um, <laughs> those are the things that I've been wanting. And of course, with it um, coming into the crawfish season, I've been wanting boiled crawfish just about every weekend. So that's been my seafood allowance for for each week is to just go and get me some ball crawfish because the seasonings and the smell and the spice is just it's just so good y'all don't understand oh um i have been eating more steak not necessarily that i'm craving it but i know that um that was just what um oh jesus do i need a nap that was what my doctor's nurse had mentioned that I could do was eat more red meat. So I've been eating more burgers and um, more steak. I think that's pretty much it for cravings. Oh, I forgot one symptom that I wanted to tell y'all. Y'all know I've been telling y'all like my um, legs sometimes get numb when I'm sleeping. One thing I noticed that at the end of the day when I'm getting in the bed and um I first lay down I have like a little bit of mild cramping and that used to be the kind of cramping that say girl your period finna come but now it's just like girl you've been running around all day and you finally laying down so I have like really really mild cramping um and sometimes I have noticed that my uterus will like get kind of tight not anything painful but just something that you know captures my attention so i'm guessing i'm experiencing just a little bit of cramping or um light you know contracting or something like that like braxton hicks um because i could feel it yeah it's not bad but i just know that um that's happening um my baby she moving y'all she just she just moved it just feels like it's all day pretty much and now it's like she used to move morning and then after work like when I take a little break and relax and kick up my feet and then at night um when I'm finally getting ready to go to bed but now it's like I'll be I could be sitting down you know working with one of my students and she'll hear us you know talking or giggling um or making different noises or whatever and she moves so um it's just becoming you know where I can notice it more, um, I guess because she's so big, and, oh, excuse me, y'all, and, um, I can actually see, like, the, it's like a little waving movement on my belly, like, sometimes when she moves, it's not necessarily kicks, but I guess she's just, like, you know, changing positions, and you'll see, like, a little wave on my belly, and husband was like, are you doing that? And I was like, no, I don't even think I have control of anything, you know, that good anymore. <laughs> Those muscles, she controls them all. But, um, no, I'm like, no, it's not me. It's really her. So you can, you can see my belly move. And so it's just been an amazing experience to know that, like, there's a little person and she's got her own agenda <laughs> according to, you know, what she feels and um if there's a sound sometimes she'll react to it um us you know poking at my belly a person trying to you know feel where she is or you know rubbing my belly she notices it and she reacts to it so it's amazing um and she loves to hear me talking right now apparently um so my doctor visit today i went for a regular checkup um, again, my doctor reminded me that everything went well for my three hour glucose test. Um, I weighed in again today and I wore jeans y'all, but I, I was at my tights weight. So it's like, I usually go either one pound up or one pound, you know, back down. So I went the one pound back down. So I still haven't picked up any new weight. So, um... I guess with me having to eat more often and, you know, taking a few more calories as she, you know, gains some fat, then maybe I'll see some, you know, five or 10 pounds, 15 max, honey. That's all we're doing. Okay. But maybe I'll see, you know, a few pounds come in 
on the, um, you know, excuse me, tail end of this thing. Um, my blood pressure was good. Um, the doctor measured me and I was measuring just fine. And she, you know, pulls out the equipment to check her heart rate. So she's moving the wand along my belly. All of a sudden we hear bump. Nia kicks the heart rate monitor. <laughs> my baby said, I want that thing on me, mama. <laughs> but I guess with us playing the little games with her of poking my belly, she felt a poke. So she responded and kicked the monitor. So the doctor got to, you know, verify what I was saying about her moving, you know, all day long. And so I was, uh, you know, just tickle pink about that. My little baby kicking, <laughs> kicking that monitor. My app told me this week that she is the size of a pineapple. So um, while I was shopping for all of my fruit cravings and the fruits that I love, I took a picture with a, with a pineapple. <laughs> Can y'all see the pineapple? It's a stupid thing. There's a pineapple right there. Apparently she can do all kinds of neat things and her eyesight is getting better and she's just getting more and more plump. So I just can't wait. I can though. I can wait. But I'm just really excited for whenever she does come. And so now I'm going to show you my belly. Uh -oh. Okay, y'all. I've been using my Moderma, but, you know, it just is what it is, y'all. I'm just tired of fighting. This is a pre-pregnancy shirt with some maternity jeans. And here is my belly from the front. Lord Jesus, look at it, Lord. And this is the other side. And I have to watch and make sure that I put cream down my sides. Because y'all see that, don't you? Ain't that a shame? And my poor belly button is on its way to being an Audi. I don't know if it'll make it there, but it is on its way for sure. And that's the other side. Yep. <sighs> so that is the belly shot. And I just want to say thank y'all so much for watching. I have really enjoyed um, having these vlogs to just, you know, record my feelings and everything like that and symptoms and just document this journey. I am um, always happy to share my experiences and hope that it will help someone along the way. Um, so, again, if you have any questions or um, comments, then leave those below. But I will keep up with my vlogs and I um, I guess I'll probably show y'all like once I pack my bags and stuff like that when we get closer to the end then um, we'll do that and I also try and do some footage from the baby shower when that happens so we'll have some different kind of videos coming up but I don't think we'll have anything with um, Willa deals and um that's about it i'm probably rambling now thank y'all so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe i see lots of people watching hit that thumbs up it ain't gonna hurt nobody now and don't forget to share you're welcome to share this with anyone don't bring no negativity now because we've been positive okay all this time with our interactions and everybody's been so sweet so only invite your sweet friends now only invite those people that's gonna be nice now but please share uh, my channel with anyone and i'll talk to y'all next time bye